a partnership involving Gavi, which is a vaccine alliance funded by Bill Gates and the Rockefeller Foundation, interesting characters both, MasterCard and TrustStamp, an identity authentication company, will be testing a biometric digital identity system, vaccination record, and payment system, all on one platform on poor, uneducated people in West Africa. TrustStamp, which received a massive amount of funding from MasterCard, launched its digital identity system in 2018 and now will be integrated into the Gavi MasterCard Wellness Pass. This links a person's vaccination records with MasterCard's click-to-pay system. MasterCard says it is committed to centralized record keeping of childhood immunization and committed to a world without cash. Gavi, Gates funded, committed three and a half million dollars, which was matched by another three and a half million dollars from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So the plan is to integrate a COVID vaccine program into this program as soon as it's available. So everybody gets the vaccine and you get your little stamps and tattoos and we know who's allowed to be out and about. Trust Stamps biometric program uses a technology called Evergreen Hash that creates a 3D mask based on a single picture of a person's face. The hash is updated every time a child or adult gets another vaccine. Trust Stamp CEO Gareth Genner says, the hash evolves over time just as you evolve. This is not the only system in place for tracking humans. Contact tracing has been used by police department to track protesters. protesters. An Israeli firm's technology is being used in Rhode Island to identify future COVID hotspots and individuals who are likely to get COVID in the future. Now, how do you identify somebody as likely to get COVID in the future? This supposedly allows governments to plan. Plan exactly what? What is perhaps most alarming about this new Wellness Pass initiative is that it links these dual use digital solutions to cashless payment solutions that could soon become mandated um, so that you'll never be able to pay cash for anything again. And an additional way to track you will not only be to track whether or not you're getting your vaccinations, but where you're spending money so that the government will always know where you are. Doesn't that just warm your heart? Yeah. This is scary stuff, people. And what they're going to do is they're going to use this this system, this um, uh, um, stamp, this trust stamp vaccine record and payment system. They're going to experiment with it on poor people in West Africa. You know, the Gates Foundation has a history of doing some pretty terrible things in uh, in African countries. They've been asked to leave uh, a couple of, of countries. Um, for some of the unethical things that they've done. Uh, more on that in the workshops on Friday night and Saturday this week on our upcoming book, COVID Operation. Um, but um, it, it's despicable to go into a poor country and, and do this type of thing to uneducated people who don't have the will to fight back. I'd fight back, I'd file a lawsuit, I'd do something, but I wouldn't let it happen. Um, these people don't have the capacity to do that, which is, I guess, why they chose them. So isn't it nice to have MasterCard keeping track of your health, keeping track of where you spend money, and the government knowing if you might be at risk of developing COVID-19? Identify hotspots so that there can be um, a prophylactic intervention. Wouldn't you love to get picked up on the front steps of your house one day? We've decided you're at risk of developing COVID-19, so we're just going to quarantine you for a couple of weeks. We're going to see people being abducted and just disappearing in our society if we don't do something about this, because this is what happens in communist countries, and we're certainly careening in that direction now. With that, uh, I'll say enough for now. <laughs> Please let anybody know um, about this who you think should know this information. Once again, my email address is pampopper at msn.com. I will be back to you tomorrow with more news.